Good morning and welcome back to Edgier Than Thou. <laughs> it's 1 a.m. <laughs> Today I just wanted to sit around with you and watch a video together and then talk about something that's been on my mind for about the last five minutes. The video is from the Rubin Report entitled Watch MSNBC Host Essentially Telling You Not to Believe Your Lying Eyes. And as we'll learn in just a moment, the word essentially is doing a lot of heavy lifting there. Now here is the televised mental institution known as MSNBC, and they were running cover for Fetterman like you wouldn't believe. I think it's also really interesting. You played a lot of clips. There were moments where he was really strong, including that Bernie Sanders clip, yeah. including his very fluent and direct response on raising the minimum wage, I thought was a really strong mo moment for him. He had some really, really strong comebacks. And, and his opponent, Oz, was, first of all, he also fumbled, right? I fumble on television, right? So it's, the, the, there is. I definitely the, fumble. Oz was on nervous and, and hesitant at first, too. Oz also was really slippery in his and it, it's such pure deflection and projection ruben mentions that the host whose name i have not bothered to learn is deflecting and projecting and well two wrongs don't make a right i would like to refer you to ruben's recent video on jimmy kimmel here's here's jimmy kimmel's tweet to elon musk he wrote it has been Interesting over the years to watch you blossom from the electric car guy into a fully formed piece of shit. And then he retweeted a tweet by Elon Musk. Now I'll get to the Elon Musk tweet in just a moment, but since Jimmy Kimmel is calling people a piece of shit, we went back into the archives and we found this. Well, here's Jimmy Kimmel doing blackface Carl Malone. I don't think that I need to show you the actual video of him doing blackface. I think you get the idea. See, two people can play at the whataboutism game. But more importantly, what this host, whose name again I have not bothered to learn, was getting at was that in her opinion, Fetterman's performance in the Oz debate was not as bad as everyone was making it out to be. Now, while I'm inclined to disagree with her, it should be exceedingly obvious to anyone who's not a partisan hack that what she was expressing is what we in the biz like to call an opinion. At no point during that clip did she tell you not to believe your lying eyes, or really anything of that sort. But what I think this indicates is that conservative pundits like Dave Rubin have come to realize that people have something of a problem with what I'm going to charitably call political gaslighting. I'm obviously using that term a bit incorrectly, but that's what we've basically adopted in our political language at this point. See, politicians and political figures have always had a reputation for being somewhat dishonest. Democrat President Bill Clinton is very famous for lying, and as far as I'm aware, they shoved him in a fruit over it. But the Trump administration kind of popularized a, a new type of lie. Instead of lying about things that it's reasonable that the public may not know, such as your relationship with one of your subordinates, now you can lie to people about things that they're looking at directly in front of them. When Trump told the American people that his inauguration clap cloud, when his inauguration crowd was the largest in history, or when he said that it didn't rain on that day, or when he said that Ilhan Omar praised Al-Qaeda, which, just as an aside, it is a bit weird that this channel has less than 15 videos on it, and I've already made two videos involving Dave Rubin and Ilhan Omar. It's just like, like if I had a nickel for every time that I made a video, including both Ilhan Omar and Dave Rubin, I'd have two. Ultimately, it's pretty obvious that this clip from an MSNBC host is pretty innocuous. It doesn't really say all that much. She's just basically defending someone that she supports, not in any real tangible factual way, just defending his general rhetoric, which is something that you can't really attribute to objective statements of fact, like I had the largest crowd in history, or it did not rain on this day. But pundits like Ruben realize that pointing out your opponent's lying directly to your face is an effective strategy for getting people to move over to your side. The problem is that if this clip is any indication, they don't really have a lot of fantastic examples of it. And that's a bit weird to me because I don't doubt that there are Democrat politicians out there saying some wacky and dishonest stuff, but it suggests that people like this don't really understand what it is they're arguing against. To Dave Rubin, it seems, just expressing an opinion that he disagrees with is tantamount to gaslighting. That an MSNBC host praising an admittedly poor debate performance is akin to some sort of Big Brother doublethink. I'll be honest, I, I don't really know exactly what this means. I just think it's kind of an interesting like microcosm 
of the online conservative mindset. And I'm, I'm obviously not painting everyone with a broad brush here, or if it's not obvious, it hopefully is now. I, I don't think that everyone is this numb to reality. I just think it's worth evaluating when someone says something this concrete to you that they're telling you not to believe your lying eyes. It's worth investigating what it is they're actually telling you. But with that, hopefully this was a short one. Uh, if you enjoyed it, I appreciate you sticking your thumb on the screen, um, tapping that red button down there, uh, doing comments or whatever you people do these days. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. And if I don't, it'll be because 